Catherine and William made their first public appearance since Easter on Thursday, visiting Birmingham to celebrate the city's diverse culture and heritage. But I noticed a few changes in their body language, especially in these two images, as you're about to find out. Welcome back, my Roger Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Roger Rogue. And from the dozens of pictures that were taken from this trip, these two were the ones that caught my attention. We get the usual charisma and chemistry between the Prince and Princess of Wales, that energy that is so hard to define, but it's definitely there. And somehow you know that they enjoy being with each other. The first one stands out just because an extremely rare public display of affection in the form of William's hand on Catherine's waist. It's not that he's not done it on other times, but in the few instances that the camera angle has helped to spot this gesture, it's more a gesture of reassurance, which in fact is not with his full hand, but more with the tip of his fingers. This kind of touch is always a good signal that you can send to your partner just so they know not only consciously but subconsciously that you are there with them, present and in the moment. It's way more powerful than you might think. And I noticed that the majority of these pictures, or at least what I found with a limited search on Google Images, he used to do it way more a few years back. These pictures are more than a couple of years old, you can easily tell by uh, William's hair. So maybe in those days, uh, we used to see that gesture more than usual because uh, he was still helping Catherine with that subtle reassurance. Not that she was afraid of those royal engagements, but that's a subtle gesture that always works. The way William did this was more about putting his hand on her back. People tend to forget that human touch is extremely powerful in the exchange of energy, and the additional perk of this display is that it's discreet enough for their royal duties. And Catherine has done a version of this in other times, such as, hey, wait a minute, that is not William's waist. But you know, the effect is the same. But jokes aside, what stands out about this public display of affection is that even if William's fingers are not fully extended, they form like a cup of protection. This, more than reassurance, is a gesture of possession and protection. It's a rather masculine gesture, especially because the waist is a female erogenous zone, and women love to do it, not only as a possessive and protective gesture, but to signal that this woman is our woman. And just a word of warning, I'm sure the mainstream media are going to take my words out of context and claim something like, William is controlling Catherine with a possessive gesture, when it is absolutely not like that. I'm getting tired of all this mother nonsense that we men cannot act like men with our women. And I can imagine all these blue hair writers foaming at the mouth about how dare this guy say our women like we are possessions. My message to you, my dear blue hair foaming at the mouth of royal writers, shut up. This is a masculine loving gesture of protection and possession and God knows I'm here for it. And I'm glad to see William much more relaxed and confident than usual. Just to compare, and before we move on to the second picture, there was this very similar display when Louis was born. Notice that here William had his hand completely open. This is what I mean when I say this is a protective and loving gesture. So let's move on to the second picture, and this is perhaps the perfect complement to that gesture we saw with William. This is the kind of signals that I spot and I immediately can read the couple. In William and Catherine's case, we have been reading them for years, and that is, but these signals apply in pretty much any couple. And the signal that I'm talking about is the way Catherine exposes her neck while turning to William and smiling at him. It's a very feminine gesture. It's a gesture that has more than a couple meanings, such as she feels comfortable with him, she feels protected, and of course, she likes him a lot. And something that could be extremely easy to miss is that Catherine's eyes are directed to William's mouth. It helps to look for the highest resolution picture you can find because it's so easy to miss these tiny details. And I mention it because it's something that definitely is not happening for the first time. It's common for Catherine to look into William's eyes, of course, but it's also fairly common to catch her looking at his mouth. I even talked about this like uh, two years ago on my Body Language Guy channel. By the way, this is another signal of attraction that you can apply yourself. The more we fancy or like a person, the more our eyes will be looking at their mouth or even their neck. And reviewing pictures for this video, it was interesting to stumble upon this photo. Maybe I had seen it before, but hadn't really paid attention at what was happening here. 
And this is one of the best examples of a strong connection within a couple. Because it's uh, not only that they are looking directly into each other's eyes, but they have the same facial expression and their necks have the exact same amount of tension. This is one of those moments which are almost magical that you can just see into the loved one's eyes and it's like you are talking without saying a word. This is a battle language representation of the words, are you thinking the same that I'm thinking? And it's really fun to find these kind of gems almost by accident. Now, besides these signals, there were other details and moments that also stood out. The fact that Catherine was wearing a burgundy dress, I don't know if it's exactly burgundy, and in fact, it changes a little depending on the source of uh, the photograph, but uh, let's say it's an approximate burgundy, it's a powerful color. It symbolizes intensity, power, wealth, so she really stood out in a very formal way. And it's nice that William's jacket napkin was matching her dress color. Now, there's another picture that caught my attention, and it was this one. I mean, the lighting was so perfect that it looks like a stock photo, but luckily we also have video of this, so the trolls cannot say that this was artificially generated or anything. This was the real deal. And it so happens that they were at this Indian restaurant and William decided to pick up the phone. And well, the way they are laughing, for one second I thought the caller's name was Harold, but there's no way to confirm that. This is the video of that moment. I, uh, I couldn't deconstruct this in the most academic way you can imagine, but the energy is just there for everyone to see. Again, it's like William feels much more relaxed, Catherine has her bright smile, and I cannot help but think that they really needed that Easter time off. So many people criticizing that they should be doing more and more and more, but in any situation, and I mean every human being, sometimes you just need some time off, especially when we can see them recharge like this. And finally, I wanted to point out these two photographs of Catherine talking to, I guess, it was a child. By the way, she's exaggerating her facial emotions, which is something cute. You know, Catherine loves children, and she must be aware that our facial emotions are super important when engaging with the young ones. It has a lot to do with reassurance. Like, they talk to us, maybe they are not that used to the nuances of facial expressions, so we might as well help them a bit with expressions like this. But anyway, I would like to know what do you think about their body language, so feel free to talk about it in the comments. And my Royal Rogues, you should be aware that the Royal Rogues official merch for King Charles Coronation is going to be available for just 8 days from now. 8 days and they are gone. So make sure to get your shirt, hoodie, mug, sticker using the link in the description before they go away. My wonderful 107,000 Royal Rogues plus the 400,000 who haven't subscribed yet. I love you all. Remember to like this video on the two most important words, much love and bliss.